Hi, thanks for joining me today. My name is Jason, and I'm going to walk you through the virtual terminal feature of the Merchant Interface. The virtual terminal is a quick and easy option to start accepting payments and is included at no additional cost with your authorized.net account. It allows you to enter credit card information manually without requiring a credit card reader or other expensive hardware. The transaction is securely processed through authorized.net's payment gateway. An example of when you might want to use the virtual terminal is if you need to charge a customer for an order taken over the phone. Let's show you how to process a payment using the virtual terminal now. First, log into the merchant interface with your username and password. On the Merchant Interface homepage, click Virtual Terminal under the Tools section on the left side menu. This is the main Virtual Terminal page. The fields available on this page depend on the Virtual Terminal settings you have set up for your Payment Gateway account. You can change those fields at any time by clicking the Virtual Terminal Settings link at the bottom of the page. At a minimum, to charge a card, you need the full credit card number, expiration date, and amount. Select Charge a Credit Card. For most transactions, keep Authorize and Capture selected. For more info on the three different transaction types listed, click the Help link here. Enter the information for the transaction in the Payment Authorization section. Remember the three required fields are credit card number, the expiration date, and the amount to charge. You can enter any other order or customer information that you wish. Then click Submit at the bottom of the page to process the payment. And that's it. On the following page, you'll see the results of the transaction, including the transaction ID. Thanks for watching this demonstration on using the virtual terminal. Have a great day.